Welcome back, everybody. Brand new Cabral host call. Dr. Stephen Cabral here, board certified at Dr. Naturopathy. Excited to dive into today's show. Once again, I'm on the road. I'm traveling for you watching on video. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting the show. And of course, the show never stops. So every single day, there's a brand new Cabral concept teaching hopefully one new facet of healthy living, whether it be diet, exercise, stress reduction, toxin removal, rest or sleep-based protocols, emotional-based balance, scientific back supplements and of course a success mindset to make sure that whatever you do you stick with it you see it through and that you are successful so yes i'm in a hotel room but that again is not going to stop the show here today every single weekend we answer 10 to 12 of our community's questions they're answered in the order they come in today we're tackling questions from the end of february 227 to be exact so we're about eight to ten weeks or so behind uh, again, just matters who's in the queue, how many people are there. But if you ask your question before 227, it has already been answered. And it's at stephencabral.com slash podcast. Check it out. You'll find your answer right there along with the previous 3,010 episodes. Feel free to search there. And of course, if you have a question and you don't want to wait eight to 10 weeks to have it read on the show, do ask at cabralsupportgroup.com for daily answers. Let's dive into the show now. First question, opening up the do- uh, the big document from the team. Again, no prep work. I can't provide any medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, or medical diagnosis, but I will help you to find the underlying root cause as to why you're not living the health, the vitality, the wellness, the zest for life that you deserve. So let's see what the first question is. It is from Laura. Laura says, hi, Dr. Brawl. Have you heard of Anessa, a non-invasive screening and analyzer that determines 131 health parameters and allows for estimating the state of organs and body systems, identifying signs of pathology and health threats. It uses five microprocessors. It calculates hemodynamic and biochemical and immunological parameters. The naturopaths I go to use it and they work with different oils with the process of thermoregulation of the body and how it tells us a lot of what's going on. The two research studies have been awarded last year at the 7th International Congress of Naturopathic Medicine in Paris. Their names are Ogorvec and Slovenia. Are you familiar with them? They use rapeseed oil in some of their mixes. What do you think? Okay, so my big thing is this. Yes, I know the device you're talking about. Um, I was at the, we'll just put it this way. I was at the World Medical uh, Congress about two years ago now, three years ago. Learned a lot about these different machines. Here's the issue. This thing is saying that without putting, without getting your blood drawn, without looking at any labs, they can basically hook up electrodes to your body and find out the state of your organs. They can find out your hemoglobin levels, hematocrit, your, all these different things with no blood draw. There is No, absolutely no research that shows a one for one that this is correct, like that this is actual true. So again, I will be the first person to promote them if they can show these studies. There are no studies showing that. So it is unethical right now, and it is potentially dangerous to say we can predict the health of all your organs with this one machine. I don't know. I mean, I the first rule of medicine, natural or otherwise, is do no harm. I cannot in good consciousness tell someone that I know their hemoglobin levels, their, you know, all 130 plus parameters of their body by using electrodes. Might I be able to ascertain electrolyte balance, hydration through biological impedance? Yes. Might I be able to ascertain potentially through certain algorithms the autonomic nervous system function based on heart rate and other things? Sure, maybe. But beyond that, looking at parasites or looking at, I'm not saying that they're looking at parasites and organ function. No, like I just, or tumors, et cetera, wouldn't be able to do that. So there are different ways to assess different parts of the body. There is no one test that shows everything. And that, that's the truth. All right. So hopefully that's helpful. But again, I'll be the first person to congratulate them and recommend their product if they're able to show a one for one, meaning this, these are all the blood work labs and they had the machine test the same day, matching levels. We're good to go. I'll promote. All right. Laura's up next. Hi again. I wanted to add their oil ingredients are grown at their facilities in Serbia. They control the origins of the seeds, et cetera. Um, okay. Secondly, but by the way, I don't, I'm not saying anything bad about them because maybe they have the answer. They just need to prove it out. 
but it's just too early for me. I, again, I don't make anybody the guinea pig in my practice, just refuse to, nor would I teach the IHPs anything that isn't scientifically sound. Um, so I don't use their products. And as of right now, I can't recommend them. So that's, that's just me. Again, it's one person's opinion. I'm not saying anything bad about them. It's just not what I would use right now because I do know protocols. I do know products that are scientifically based and that do work based on whatever needs to be corrected in the body. All right? All right. Secondly, I'm trying to recommend the rain barrel effect to people, but it hasn't been translated to Slovenian yet. Any idea how to make that happen? Unfortunately, a lot of people here don't speak English that well to read books in it, but I feel like it's a must read for everyone who is interested in being healthy. Please help. And thank you for all you do. You are truly an amazing soul. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate you. That's very kind of you to say. I would love it to be translated to Slovenian. I would absolutely love that. Um, no doubt you're going to see some pretty wild stuff over the next 18 months on stephencabral.com. So stay tuned. Be a part of the newsletter. Uh, it's the newsletter's been a lot of people doing newsletters now. My newsletter has been around since 2006. That's how old, uh, how old I am, I guess, and how old I've been doing the newsletter. Um, so I've always wanted to share ideas. And even back then, it was just, I don't know, a few hundred people. And I literally sent it through Microsoft Outlook. And I would just copy and paste only 99 people because oh, that's all you can do, basically, a send per email, if anybody knows that back in the day. Uh, and I would just send the, the newsletter to them each and every week. So labor love always has been. I love what I do. I love this field. And so that's why, again, like I'm for everybody. I, I don't I promote the best of everything in this field best of everything. All right. And yes, yeah, so you will see the book translated, hopefully to uh, many languages over the next uh, few years. That's for sure. With uh, basically the help of, of ethical AI. All right. Anthony's up next. Hi, doc. Second time writing in. Last time you helped answer some of my questions I had regarding uh, ectosteroids, uh, turkesterone, uh, and a few of them. Okay, great. Really appreciate the deep dive you gave on the following episode too. Absolutely happy to help Anthony. Big proponent of creatine and would love to know what you think of, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, is guanido acetic acid, GAA. Is it safe and beneficial or too early as well? Always grateful for your advice. All right, thank you. Anthony, you're always on the cutting edge. I love it. So GAA uh, is essentially, it's an amino acid, but it also acts essentially it's like an enzyme or a precursor helps to helps to helps creatine work better we'll put it that way right it's also i believe a essential metabolite of glycine and so there's many potential beneficial properties but the ones that i've seen is mainly through uh, the the synthesis of creatine so what could it help with better utilization of creatine better um, uptake of atp adenosine triphosphate more energy uh, better endurance better muscle recovery and, and better wound healing and so much more because obviously creatine does work. So you're right. I mean, but the truth is it's too early for me uh, to recommend that and prob probably far too early. And that's because we can get GAA still in all products that would have typically creatine, like meat-based products, uh, dairy products, if you use dairy products, et cetera, some plant-based, but, but not that much. So what else can I share with you about that? That's basically it. And then obviously there's great qualities to glycine as well, gut health, mood, calming the nervous system and much more. So yes, too early for me to recommend something like that, but certainly, you know, always on the lookout for these great things, kind of like yourself. All right, Anonymous is up next. Hi, Dr. Wall. Love the episode 2945 on heavy metals. I did the big five and came back with Candida and heavy metals. I ran the 21-day functional medicine detox, the heavy metal detox, and now I'm in the CBO as prep for pregnancy. My two questions are, how soon after the CBO would it be safe to start trying detox while pregnant, not advised, and how soon could we retest heavy metals to be sure levels are approximate post-detox? What is the expected drop-off in levels? I was high on aluminum and mercury. Okay, so yeah, you're doing great. That was phenomenal. That's exactly how the big five should be done. Like do the lab, do the 21-day detox, then move into whatever you need. You can do the CBO first, or if you want, like you just said, you're trying to get pregnant, do the heavy metal detox first. Okay, so you can immediately test your metals again by doing what's called the... Uh, Complete Toxic Heavy Metals Test, which is a blood and urine one at Equalife. So that's just stephencabral.com slash shop. It'll take you right over to Equalife. And then you can just look for, um, it's, a, it's a lesser known test, but amazing one. And it will test for certain mineral levels and heavy metals that are in your blood and then excreted in your urine. Or if you want to do the minerals and metals test again for the hair, which is what most people do, that uh, that is four months. So do your, deto do your detox, do your heavy metal detox. And then four months after completing it, you're going to test a quarter inch closest to the scalp. 
So that would be that. Again, not the whole strand of hair, because that'll show you the past, well, however many months, however long your hair is, right? Because your hair grows about a quarter inch uh, or so per month, quarter to a half an inch, depending on the uh, how quickly your hair grows. Okay. And then how soon after the CBO protocol could you start to get pregnant? Um, in my opinion, immediately after. Like I would have no issue with women uh, trying immediately after that. I would have no issue at all. Not at all. And then you can do your CBO finisher while trying to get pregnant. And then uh, I don't even really have a huge issue with women using that while pregnant, but it, I would still, you know, probably come off a month or so, a month to two months. Even though it's typically a 12 week protocol, you can come off if you decide to. But let's see glutamine, aloe vera, zinc carnosine, N acetylglucosamine, marshmallow root. I would have no problem with my wife using that when pregnant. I really wouldn't. That and the, the clean up probiotic or daily probiotic support, no issues. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Anonymous is up next. Hi, Dr. Brawl. I've been working on the root cause of my insomnia 10 plus years after a traumatic brain injury. After the big five, uh, about three fourths of the way through the 21 day functional medicine detox, onto the heavy metal detox and the CBO protocol. I've been doing the, I wonder if, the, is this the same person? Probably the same person, right? Uh, let's see. They've been running the ultimate sleep protocol during and de stress protocol. Okay. My resources are tapped at this point, so I can't retest stress mood and metabolism test. So I would like your opinion at what point should I expect my cortisol to be down enough so I can come easily off the sleep protocol and sleep well? How can someone run adrenal soothe for safely? Okay. All right. I think I know what you're saying. So if anyone has insomnia and it's stress-based, what we want to do is typically we use the full spectrum magnesium and the adrenal soothe at dinner, two capsules of each usually. Then before bed, we're using calming magnesium and we're using liquid melatonin and or the sleep help um, support capsules. That's up to you, all right? So either one, whatever you like. Now, if you're still stressed during the day, you can still use a full spectrum magnesium at lunch and you can use an adrenal soothe at lunch. If you can't retest, typically you'll, say, you'll see symptoms greatly subside within six to 12 weeks. But that also means that you've been working on the other lifestyle things as well, because it's not just about nutritional supplements, right? It's the de-stress protocol, diet, exercise, stress reduction. So using exercise to decrease stress, you're using meditation, you're using gratitude journaling, you're using binaural beats, you're using other things to decrease stress. And so if you can't retest, then what you start to do is you start to look at symptomatology, like symptom-based, Am I feeling less stressed, right? Is my resting heart rate coming down? Is my HRV going up? All these great things. And you can even run just a single bedtime cortisol marker, which is a brand new lab test, uh, to, to look at your cortisol levels. And you can find all of these, of course, at stephencorell.com slash shop. It'll take you right over to Equal Life, and you can find all these amazing labs. So again, as we say, if you don't guess, right, test. That's the best way. But if you can't test, totally understand. Use your protocols and then go by symptoms as well. All right, great questions. That's five. We're going to keep it at that for today. I'm going to come back tomorrow, answer another five to six questions in this lovely hotel room. So I will see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Have an amazing day. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.